Hi guys, welcome back to Jolly Kitchen with me, Kiet, once again. Thanks for tuning in. And this week episode is going to be the last one of this year, 2016. It has been a cracking year for me and for you guys. I hope you having fun and enjoy watching this um, channel. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, you guys, and um, for following me on Facebook and to subscribe on Jolly Kitchen with Kiet on YouTube. It really means a lot to me and it's keep this channel going. I got a plan for the years to come in 2017. I think there should be some um, changes or improvement in this uh, Jolly Kitchen channel. And um, for what it is, I have no idea yet, so I haven't come up what it is. But when it get closer to um, the dates, I'm going to make an announcement. And just make sure you get the notifications to when the latest updates come, you won't miss out. And um, just before I go, so I'm going to uh, show you this week how to make one of my favorite food. This fish is grilled fish. It's super easy to make. Maybe you can get this idea for your Christmas dinner, something different. And um, I got a list of the ingredients right here in the link in the description below as usual. Just make sure you click it away. And I will see you guys uh, in 2017. Well, until then, stay healthy and keep it jolly. Alright guys, let's have a look at the ingredients I'll be using today for my um, the grilled fish. And um, I'm going to break it down for you so it'll be easier to follow. And um, I'm going to go over here. First, we're gonna have a look at um, the chili paste. So there will be some a combination of um, right over here is um, shallot. Right over here is um, garlic. And I'm going to add some uh, lemongrass. And then I'm going to add turmeric and garangal and dry chili, coconut milk and uh, ground sticky rice. And um, I'm gonna seasoning with oyster sauce and a little bit of fish sauce. And have a look over here at the main ingredient. I got a beautiful um, blue mackerel here, which is already clean and gutted. And uh, I'm going to wrap it in the uh, galangal leaves. Usually it would be perfect idea if you got banana leaves, but today I couldn't find banana leaves. I'm going to also add some dill here and then the, the basil. Then I'm going to add a little bit of kefaline leaves. And um, after have a look at all these ingredients, I'm going to break it down for you with a simple step so you can just easily follow um, my guide. And then you can make your own delicious grilled fish. All right, so next part is super simple where I'm going to show you how to prepare the, um, the paste for the fish. Now I'm gonna grab my um, blender which is going to make your life so much easier and um, I'm going to add the raw ingredient it's gonna be turmeric. You can use like maybe just one knob and then I'm gonna add um, my sliced galanga here the dry chili and then I'm gonna add some garlic throw them in here and um, this beautiful lemongrass you can slice or you can peel it all right but i shouldn't put in here shallot so i'm just gonna roughly chop it and then put it in here and then i'm going to add the coconut milk this step is super easy and then i'm going to add the fish sauce and followed by the oyster sauce and then we're gonna add um an egg Egg in there, I'm gonna tear this off with kaffir lime leaves. Add kaffir lime leaves in there. And I think this is a pretty much done. I'm going to start blending this. Okay, now we got our beautiful paste. I'm going to add into my mixing bowl here. It's still a little bit like watery, but don't worry about it. So we are going to Add the ground sticky rice in here. We're gonna help thicken our sauce. I'm gonna leave it there and now I'm going to move on to prepare the fish. Okay, the next part is super easy. I'm going to prepare the vegetable that I'm going to add into the, um, the grill. I got my uh, dills here, just cut the roots off. I got a little bit of lemongrass stalks. I'm gonna cut slice just like that. Garlic, I'm gonna cut it half. Freshly slice, just like that. I've got here um, the basil.
Okay, the next step is super simple. I already preheated my oven to 150 degrees, so I'm gonna grill it on both sides. Fish into the grill. Beautiful. All right, we'll come back when it's cooked. Might be the hot steamer coming out. Oh, smell divine. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do serving. All right, guys, this is the end result for my cooking today. This is the grilled jungle fish. I hope you enjoy watching this. And if you want to see more new contents like this, please make sure you subscribe on Jolly Kitchen with Kid on YouTube and stay updated by follow us on Facebook as well. Thanks for watching and thanks for always be here with us. I'll see you again next time in 2017. Take care. Bye bye.